What's up, everybody? We're heading over to Finland. This is Nora Luimo singing Nothing Else Matters live in Ukraine. So close, I'm out of my bones. Oh my god, no. Couldn't be much more what? from the heart. No. Forever trusting who we are. And nothing else matters I never opened myself this way Life is ours, we live it our way All these words I don't just say And nothing else matters I seek and I find in you Every day for us something new Open mind for a different view And nothing else matters All right, I'm going to stop here just because I know this song and I know how far it goes and all that good stuff. This is about a minute in. So we're okay. Uh, what are you thinking so far? Do you know this song? I don't know anything about the song. So the song is Nothing Else Matters. It's uh, from originally from a band called Metallica. They are... Uh, Who the, are they? No. Uh, they are the most world's ass-kicking band out there. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, love, I grew up listening to them, and I'm a, uh, I've always been a huge fan. Um, <clears throat> But this is one of their one of their most popular songs um, this year. Uh, they actually have a second. Uh, they have a number two. Nothing else matters too, which is like wow. Nothing else matters, and nothing else matters too. Oof. Uh, you're having a bad day. Really, really <laughs> bad day. But uh, so far, so good. This is, um, I believe, as I'm looking at this, this is. I'm not certain if this is like the voice. I was in wondering Ukraine. if it was some kind of singing competition because it's like here, right. call for. So I'm going to treat it as such and see this as an audition. Um, and if I'm seeing this as an audition, I'm going to start n- being a little nitpicky, especially because she is so damn talented. And so before I go on, I'm going to let you know. I know how talented she is. I know how. I know that this is most likely a long time ago i know that this is um it's there's there are things that are subjective um but uh i'm i might be a little bit harder on her because she has done so much and is so good um right now what i'm getting on a little bit is that the song is a little bit too low for her yes uh we need to take it up a half step you know always you always whenever doing an audition you never ever ever want to put yourself in a position of failure if that high note is a b flat but you woke up that morning and it is an it, it's a g sharp you change the adjust. You, you you adjust you know and a lot of people will be like no you never you never go away from that you just change the song then yeah. do something that's in your area i'm sure when she picked this song it was low and it was perfect. It sat in her register, but she probably didn't take into account for being tired. These competitions run you ragged. There may not be, her chords may not be able to relax enough because they've been so worked. There's so much blood always constantly pumping through them that they remain a little bit too tight that they just can't get those low notes. And you start to fry out. Um, there's also stylistically, People are going to argue with me on this, and that's fine. Um, you, you're, everybody has a right to their wrong opinion. Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But my this roommate, is, ladies and gentlemen. My, okay. <laughs> this is a, a, it's a nitpicky from me. I don't like it when people do. Um, what is it? And nothing else matters. <sighs> How? <sighs> You know what I mean? The, the, this, no, it's the, the uh, dropping off. Like wh- nobody, st- nobody talks like that. Nobody, don't don't do that, and don't you do it do all the time. You do when you're really drunk. Oh, sorry. I, yes, okay. very, <laughs> sorry. But like it, that's that's it. Once in a while, sure, you pop it in there for dramatic effect, but you do it every single time. It starts to get, to, it starts to be like the tick, yeah. like a scratch in the back of my head. Okay. That you know, that that scratch you can't itch in your back, like drives me mad. Anyway, that's just my two cents. It doesn't mean it mean too much, but I'm loving what I'm hearing outside of those little nitpicky things. I feel like I can't really hear her, okay, because she's so quiet. Yeah, yeah. So and I'm. To hear that this was is a metallic song, Metallica. That's sorry. the one. 
I'm not a metalhead, but my kids are. So I do know of Metallica, but I promise you I don't listen to them. So, so that this is Metallica surprises me because it certainly doesn't feel like a Metallica song. Oh, yeah, it will. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> I vote for him. Let's stop here. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as ring the bell so you get notified every time I post new content. Thanks so much for supporting. Let's get back to it. That's, wow. I want to vote for that guy. <laughs> He's amazing. What a turnaround. Yeah, okay, that's so, now so I know. Much. As soon as I was done talking, boom, she goes up there. Right. Okay. Now I know why she didn't didn't raise it half a step because that's, that would have been really high that explains a lot god man she's got a growl that yell it's primal but it's safely placed it feels it, as i'm listening to it so there's um oh man i don't i forgot the name there's a second pair of folds that you have they're rarely uh, capable of being active um but you can manipulate certain ways around it so i forgot whether they're, they're above or below either way you can in the process of manipulating them, you can use those to create that gravelly sound. And it really, really opens up a different uh, texture of this sound. So you're singing perfectly fine on your, uh, on your vocal folds. Um, it takes work and like anything else after running a marathon, no matter how strong and trained you are, you're going to be sore. So this is still taxing on your vocal folds, but uh, it's possible. Um, you just lead with a little bit further in front and you can manipulate the texture of that sound by basically doubling up on the vibrations. Is that what Bonnie Tyler does? I don't know. I've never listened to Bonnie Tyler. Total Eclipse of the Heart? Oh, I don't, I don't, I, I couldn't listen to Bonnie Tyler. I didn't like, I'd never. I love Total Eclipse you, of the Heart. You, really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I much. mean, I, all I could think of is um, a broad, there, it was in, it was in a Broadway musical um uh god it was about dracula the musical not the frank wildhorn one the good one there's another one i forgot who was i think donny osmond was supposed to be in it or something like that and that and it was him singing like total eclipse of the heart oh oh it's like oh. something really terrible and anyway. okay <laughs> listen to, to i think it's bonnie tyler that sings it yeah Okay. All right. No, I'm digging her voice. Her high, her upper register is really, really growling. Now I am. Yes. Her high, because and she switches, so you know she's there safely, because she switches. She's hitting those notes, and she's she's right there, nice and placed. And then she'll just go into that, yeah, like that. Oh, that real big. More of her, more of her music with Battle Beast does even. Is it Battle Beast? Yes. Um, uh, she she does even more. She screams it, and she really really uh, uh, has that has such a it's such a wild texture when coming from a woman because the timbre is just so different. You know what I mean? So it's so so much fun to listen to that we got to listen to more. Okay. <laughs> Janis Joplin.
couldn't be much more from the heart Forever trusting who we are No, nothing else matters Hey everybody, if you're enjoying the content and you would like to see the channel grow, why don't you join us over on Patreon? On Patreon, we're going to have exclusive episodes of reactions, music history, as well as live streaming and performance behind the scenes of my travels and everything there in between all wrapped up in one place. I hope to see you over there. Until then, let's get back to it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Just acapella really well. <laughs> that Almost was better. beautiful. Like that end part was much better than the beginning. She was singing kind of at the same level, but there, the music wasn't drowning her out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I loved every uh, all of it. I could be, or I'd, I'll be the nitpicky if it was an audition and say, you know, musical theater. You know, you can move this arm. There's other places it could go. If you go back, you'll notice throughout. I'll go back. Yeah, Just she always breathe from here <laughs> well there's kind of always thing. that too i mean listen there's nerves there's just flat out being tired um if this is one like i said before if this is one of those um uh shows notice her hand it doesn't really kind of move oh nope. a little bit it there just goes back to a little her bit there goes out into her stomach and then so i mean it. it's it's a nervous it's a nervous tension thing and it happens to everybody i have them uh, everybody has those things, but the best thing that you could do when you have those is be told, hey, by the way, you do this thing with your hand a lot. Then as you keep going, you start noticing, oh, wow, I really do. Before you know it, you just stop doing it. Being called out on these little notes, these little silly ticks or whatever, isn't really being stupid nitpicky. It's kind of in a long way, if this was a public setting, a teaching type of setting or whatever, it would be beneficial and helpful in the long run because that person would now turn around and be like, oh, well, oh, okay, I can, I could, yeah, I could do yeah. stuff. You know, I got more movement um, and I don't have to feel small Boxed or in. try to make myself feel small. You know, it's, um, it's a, it's, it's it's a process she and every time own you the whole space instead of contain herself absolutely absolutely and her voice and her voice does it yes I, I need the rest of her to do it in this now i know she's she's has so much experience behind her and she is so damn good holy crap but i'm just being honest looking at this as an audition directly in front of me as if this is the only information i have um and and it, and, and it would be her voice owns it and she yeah. owns it. And now let yourself, you know, just ah, get out there. free and fly. Right, right. And um, uh, there's one other. It, there was a, uh, it reminded me of a, a, a singer that I worked with years ago. Um, she was from, uh, she's uh, not from the States. Uh, she was from the Philippines. And um, uh, she, she, one of the comments that one of our um, installers would make or one of our directors would make is that she'd always, always looked angry instead of like really kind of like going through RBF. thinking about those words. Almost, almost, but, it, but sometimes it almost looked like she would get, her forehead would get so tight it would get painful. Okay. Like, like, are you hurting yourself? Are you, are you that, are you angry? Are you constipated? It <laughs> was the joke. In yes, my head. yes. Are you? Okay. And that's what's just like. I don't know. Like, if you're sad or you're constipated, sort of joke. And the, again, those jokes sound really awful and really mean. But it's me meant to bring a, a, a put a fun spin, a funny spin, on something that sometimes can be a little sensitive. Like, oh, I didn't make. Like, if you're making a funny face, nobody wants to hear. I've just made a funny face in front of 35 people. You want to you want to laugh it off and go oh okay now so now I feel that when I'm performing oh I need to yeah we all uh, we all are familiar with the Beyonce meme what's that the oh the one where she's got a really funny face oh really yeah it's it's a very unattractive Beyonce yeah it was all over the place I don't believe that's know. possible <laughs> but no she uh, but throughout she was the song the expression on her face and yeah people, it just went crazy because everyone oh, was like funny. oh look she's not pretty now. <laughs> But I mean, People no, this mean. is, she, Nura is mm -hmm. uh, uh, stunning. Um, she is. Just the, the, in the beginning, in the beginning, it's very much, very, very, 
very intense, very intense. And for the nature of an audition and for the nature of an arc in a song, we could loosen that up a bit. We could lose it. We could start off a little less intense and then increase the intensity throughout the song because the intensity is where it needs to go. But it needs to. Uh, but this, it will allow for a greater distance of travel. So it'll and make for a bigger reveal at the end if you start off less intense, small, and almost conversational, and then moving up into the really passionate. And then coming back down to the, and nothing else matters. You know what I mean? It gives yeah. that whole arc, um, the whole story, a nice big arc. And while she did that beautifully, she could have started off a little bit lower and it would have made that arc just a little bit bigger. It would have just traveled a little bit nicer. But other than that, she's freaking fantastic. Okay. <laughs> and I'll just shut my trap, shall I? There you go. Did you have fun? Yes. Yes, I did enjoy that. I wasn't quite sure where it was going to go, but as soon as I said some, anything the slightest critical, then she just like, okay, let me show you what I can do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Hold my beer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. He just spilled his beer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Bye, it. Guys. I know I did. Until next time, catch you on the flippity flop. Yeah. Bye.